What's going on guys? It's Michael from 3D Print Everything today and I've got a pretty cool video that I want to do for you. Um, don't judge my mess at the moment. I actually came into it like this so someone else kind of messed some of this up. I am in the process of cleaning um, so even though I got a much more cleared out space now it's still uh, a bit bad. I would take the trash out but I'm waiting. The trash truck should come today otherwise the dumpster is full so I can't really like dump it anywhere. Um, but I'm going to clean off my entire desk, get these extra monitors out of here I'm not using, reorganize my display a little bit. But nonetheless, 40 seconds of nonsense. What you are here to learn about is why welding pliers are uh, a 3D printer's best friend. So um, I was just thinking about it as I was taking the supports off of this, and most of the supports are already on the floor now. But I'll show you on a different part. So let's go over here to like this one. Okay. So, this part has some supports on the side. Um, these otherwise, this one in particular might be easy enough to uh, rip off. Let me see if I can position my camera um, by hand. But, one of the reasons that I really, really like welding pliers is you have a little bit of grip here at the end, but it's otherwise a dull tip. So, unlike um, like needle nose pliers, these will have a little bit more bite generally to grab stuff and they won't like puncture through parts as easily if you're using them to clean supports. So it's generally really easy to grab supports um, with something like this. And it's got a nice long straight bit, so if you're using a brim, I can generally get my brims off really easy as well. Um, so for support removal, in my opinion, one of the best. Also, a lot of other uh, pliers and whatnot might not have a spring in it. That spring letting it action back out is really nice and ergonomic when you're wanting to like lightly hold it or put it in a weird position um, really nice there now another big thing that make welding pliers even better because right now you could be saying well i've already got a pair of pliers that i need why do i need those you know i got a set of pliers that work for xyz reason um okay for holding your heat block and your nozzle it is extremely useful so for instance in this one I would use one of these tools. So I would put a tool up here and because I'm holding my camera, it's gonna be hard for me to do that. But, you know, I would stick like this. Let me see, sorry. Uh, da, da, da. All right, there's some plastic on it, so I just can't get it up there. And it might be an oddball size for all I know. But anyways, as I'm holding this up here, sorry for all the shakiness, I can hold the welding pliers right there and easily take the nozzle off. Now, for other uh, 3D printers, being universal and all that, this little deal right here that is generally used for the tip of a welding gun is also really good. Now on this King Rune, I can't really get it, but it's really good to hold a nozzle. So there's been many a times that I've used this part to hold a nozzle on a different printer that uh, didn't have a fan so close to it. So, and then also you have a cutter on it. So the cutter is obviously great for cutting your wire. And on top of that, this down here, because we can use all of it, actually works really well for your heat breaks. So if you have a heat break like this design, let me see, there. like this, if you're taking this apart to service it, this will grab it really well and then you can either use another pair or something else to then get the throat out. So like this right here, this gets the throat really well and it won't even damage it. Um, I mean sometimes it will depending on how bad you, you torque on it, but if you're careful you can grab a throat with this and uh, you won't mess up the threads and you'll be able to reuse it. But these are what I use on a daily, literally every single day, um, multiple times a day, probably 10 to 20 times. Um, you know, they're just overall one of my best used tools. So, highly recommend welding pliers. You can find them online for like 10 to $25. I think this was a 10 or $12 set. Um, cheap. They're nice. Um, you definitely want a pair. So, that's all for today. Um, I will do another video after I clean this up maybe. And, uh, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks guys. Have a good day.